Okay, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here really quick is um, convert this rules route into just a like show hide component, just like the menu. It doesn't really warrant its own route um, because when you click on it, you lose the state of the app. I mean, that'll be solved when I move everything to local storage, but still, I just don't want it to. So right now, it just goes to, uh, oops, totally different route, and then when you go back to hex, um, it's like refreshes, which we don't want. So we're just going to convert it, uh, get rid of that route our um, router here, route configuration is quite simple, which I like. Um, and then this is sticking out like a sore thumb. We're going to change this to a plain link, just like the others. Uh, so it's consistent, it's more consistent, it's just better. Okay, now we're going to add an on-click handler here, toggle rules. Uh, and these are not alphabetical for some reason. Let's see here. I'm going to add toggle rules in here. This is just work. And toggle rules. It's also a function. And we won't need link anymore. Linting is so great. Uh, we're going to need to toggle rules down here. So let's just do this. Get the next one, change that to rules. Okay. And then actions. Which actions? These are the X view actions. So X view action creators. Go down here to toggle rules and I'm really gonna write some function that just spits these all out from an array of names because so they're all the same I like the consistency toggle rules okay and let's copy this uh, save the toggle rules we're going to go hex view action types and add a toggle rules here and toggle rules, toggle rules. We have to go to the reducer and show rules. I'm going to refactor that. False, um, and then we go down here, toggle numbers, copy this, uh, toggle rules, and we're going to go show rules, state dot show rules, opposite, that's easy, show rules, Okay, and then uh, that's it for the menu, and then we go back to our hex view here, and we say toggle rules, no I don't need it here, what I need is the state show rules, show rules, selectors dot show Rules selector. Need to write a selector. Uh, XPU selectors. Ch -ch 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 show numbers selectors. Let me just like that. Getting very repetitive here. Show rules selector. XPU selector. Show rules. and then we pull it out 
We add it to prop types. Show rules. Also a bool. Uh, we pull it out here. Show rules. And then uh, I'll append it to the end, I guess, here next to the menu. So show rules and rules. Like that. Uh, rules is not defined. So we import it. Uh, where is the import the menu? So this is going to be, I'm going to move it to the components menu rules. Um, and so right now it's a view. So I'm going to have to move it around a bit. Um, let's see here. So in the views, we've got our rules view. We're going to move this into components. Uh, boom. And rename it to rules. And rename this also simple, nice, short name. Everything is easy with an app this small. Okay. This is no longer a thing. We'll go to our components now. Here. Rules. Um, this is odd. Yeah, no, we don't need this anymore. Um, delete that. Rules. Spur class rules. Oh, look. Extends component. Perfect. It's already called rules. Default connected component. Oh, I don't need to connect it anymore because now it's just. Now it can just be a pure functional dumb component. We don't need to connect it because it's no longer a route. And um, don't need that. Uh, and I can go like this constant rules equals the pure functional component that returns. I don't even need a return, I can just go like this and pull that over, get rid of these. Um, don't even need this. I will change this to. Oh, it doesn't even take any props. Holy shit. That is better. Simpler. Yes. This just imports a whole bunch of stuff from data and some boards. It's just it's just static content and rules. Okay. Uh, save that, and then we'll have to update the index. I always forget to do that. So, um, rules from rules dot rules. Mm -hmm. And then that should work now, like that. I'll show rules and rules. All right, what did I forget? Uh, rules view dot sass in rules. Oh, the import is now changed. Rename that. Um, rules SVG wrap. There we go, and no errors, load board, go to our menu, now to play, whoa!
Um, okay. So I'm going to fix the CSS here. Uh, so let's inspect the. Um, let's see here. Rules menu. This guy. So this guy, we're going to have to change hmm. how are we going to make it work. We want it to be, hmm, x view root is, um, position relative so we could it would work to go uh, undo I don't want flex what we want is um, position absolute and then top zero bottom zero left zero, right, zero, and that will give us something like this. Mm. Oh, it says max width 500. Uh, so I need to write, wrap everything in a, in a wrap, in a, another layer. So the rules, I'll just have to do this. So div class name equals styles dot root or wrap. So this, is, this will be, maybe a wrap. Oops. And move all of this over uh, yeah and then save that and the wrap will be our position absolute I go left zero right zero top zero bottom Zero, um, and then uh, that should that should, and then we'll go text align next center. Let's see how that works. Ooh, it was there for a splash. Um, the rules, okay, so the rules wrap is now 100% width. Rules wrap, yep. But this guy is flex. Max width 500. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe if I go back to the rules wrap and I go display flex and then align items center oops man overflow why Mm. Mm. No, that's why. Um, align items. Mm. Mm. How am I going to get it to center? 
already overflowing. The scroll, the wrap. The wrap has text line center. I guess if I did something like no flex. Ooh, this trick margin zero auto. There we go. Margin zero auto. They don't need flex. Max width margin uh, so I change this to margin zero auto and that was all we had to do. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and then uh, of course the rules wrap background white. Whoops. Background color, white, and alphabetize CSS is nice. Um, okay. Ooh, and then I need I need a way to hide it. Uh, I go back, you know. Here. This is not going to do what I want it to do. So let's update this guy to be like the others. On click equals um, toggle rules. Yep. Toggle rules. And so we will have to pass one parameter, toggle rules. Uh, and then let's add that to our prop types, rules that prop types, toggle rules, prop types that function is required. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put one at the top also. Back, save that, and then where we render the rules, we pass it toggle. So we will need toggle toggle rules here. Toggle rules. Add it here. Toggle rules. Pull it out here. Easy, and then pass it. Toggle rules into our rules component. Boom. So now, oops, prop types is not defined in rules. Okay, I forgot to pull this out of. React prop tips. And that should be valid build. And this should change to a normal link. Oops. So, how to play? Show that. Clicking back will take us back. And preserve state. So, I made a move back it's still there perfect all right and there's just a couple polish items the styles here for this link uh, I want them to be like the menu menu styles the item for the menu item this these styles um, let's just duplicate for now Okay. Um, so rules 
Whoops. Um, let me see this back. I'll call this make styles. Padding, hover, cursor, some minimal styles for a link. Uh, and then, and then add that class name here. Styles.link. And the same thing here. Go back. Just push it down a little bit. Ah, what the? the heck uh, that's interesting there's padding should be all the way around hmm I've seen I've seen that happen before the padding collapses Oops, so does the margin What's going on here? Margin one. Why is the margin collapsing? That's really weird. Look, no overriding styles. It's got a margin of one. That's very odd. Padding. Look. Weird. Padding top. One rim. Is that gonna do it? Nope. What if I did like fucking hard coded Jesus? Jesus. Does it have something to do with the reason being I don't know, that's weird. How about how about height? Rose link. Um, two rem. That's weird. It's like not responding to any height. Oh, you know why? Because it's an inline element. Uh, that's why. I have to wrap it in a div. So I gotta go like this. Yeah. That's all right. Um mm -hmm. cause links don't behave like block elements. And like that. Padding. This padding. Then. Um, boom. Block level elements. So I can go back by clicking anywhere along here. Just movements. And back. There we go. And we still have our state. Okay. Um, that's better. How to play. Back. Boom. So you can check on it at any time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Undo still works. Redo still works. All right. I think we're good on our how to play component. We'll save the other routes for other things like lobby and chat rooms and stuff. OK. Um, Let's commit that. So we removed link, we alphabetized, we uh, converted, normalized that link, just like the others in the menu. 
we pulled out the unnecessary slash and the index redirect, killed the rules view, killed the rules route, just imported a simple rules component, and show it conditionally based on state, just like the others toggles. Added toggle rules, uh, toggle rules, action type, action creator, reducer, added it to the initial state, added a selector, moved a bunch of stuff around, we have to add rules, git commit, um, so basically we refactored the rules view into a um, into a just let's say dumb component. Yeah. All right. Um, I think the next thing that needs to happen is uh, but I don't need to fuck with local storage because um, the state of the game is going to be saved in the database. We're going to hook up real time rethink db database and uh, and and sync it with uh, Redux state. It's going to come from. I think that's what's going to happen next. Um, yeah.